What's going on guys, Tetra Ninja here and I am bringing you the very last match of my open lobby. As you can see, there's only one guy left in it, Kdrew32, who was uh, real fun to play with and the open lobby went well. And I'm thoroughly enjoying the Halo Reach beta right now. Uh, I'll be sure to get some footage for you guys to watch. But uh, it's been a while since I posted a video so I thought I'd get this up. Playing at TDM on Karachi. Usually I don't play TDMs because uh, they tend to be very campy, but uh, it was a quest so I decided to just play it out and it wasn't too bad, but I, like I said, I still prefer Domination. Um, going with the TAR-21 with FMJ, which is probably now my most favorite weapon in this game. Maybe tied with the M16 Red Dot side, but it's pretty damn close and the reason I say this is because well let me first get this out uh, the reason I decided to this setup use this setup because I was actually watching the uh, Machinima Frag Cup and I noticed that unlike what I thought I was expecting most of the teams to be running with M16 FAMOSs and UMPs but in most cases they're using TAR 21s with FMJ and I, I didn't know exactly why but uh, after testing this out, I quickly found out that this thing gets more penetration kills than, uh, let's think of gay sexual innuendos here. Uh, it gets more penetration kills than Ricky Martin. Hello! It's because he's gay. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this thing is a monster at getting penetration kills and... I really didn't like this gun when I first used it because I thought I didn't really like the moderate recoil. The iron sights were half good, but I didn't like I didn't like I said in my earlier video like the outer ring that goes on the iron sights. But when you strap FMJ on this thing, you don't even have to worry about making sure that you get it precisely, yeah, precisely on the target. This thing will cut through walls and uh, blocks and stuff like hot knife through butter. And that suits my aggressive playstyle. I, I, in my opinion, I have a fairly aggressive playstyle, and I can just basically unload without having to make sure that I'm exactly on the target. And if you've been watching lately, you can see the amount of penetration kills I'm getting <laughs> through walls. And I was actually on Corey, and um, it, it's it has a high, it has a high penetration rate. If you strap FMJ on this thing, like I said, it's uh, it cuts through walls like a hot knife through butter. And I was actually in quarry, and I was I actually shot a guy through one of the quarry blocks, like one of the big cinder cinder blocks that they have on that map. <laughs> so yeah, I highly suggest you guys check this setup out. And you can even like shoot people if the, if if the, if the person gets a jump on you, just hide behind cover and just open fire. As I get another wall bang right there, and you're pretty much gonna be good with this gun with FMJ. Get a nice double with my Predator Missile here, and then I get my Harriers, and as always, I'm gonna let my Harrier play the game for me. But this team is actually really good at shooting down air support, so it only gets about one kill. And I have to get the, uh, the ninth kill by wall banging a guy through the pillar that's right in front of me. Once again, <laughs> it saves the FMJ, it's just amazing on this gun. Um, and also, this gun has a high fire rate in, comparing to the, in comparison to the UMP, and it also has a larger clip size in comparison to the SCAR H. Uh, with, anytime I'm using the SCAR H, I'm usually using uh, extended mags, but the SCAR H only has moderate uh, penetration, opposed to the TAR-21, which has a uh, high. So this gun, like I said, uh, is quickly becoming my, pay, my new favorite as I wallbang this guy. And I highly suggest you check it out. It's really suitable for people who have a very aggressive play styles uh, as I wallbang this guy again. So yeah, check it out. And if you can't notice, I'm actually testing out some new render settings on this video. I bumped up the saturation. I was watching a bunch of uh, Optic Nation stuff on their website, and their quality on their videos was really, really good, like ridiculously good. And I know some in comparison, my videos were kind of pale. So I just bumped up the saturation on that baby, and I think it looks better. Uh, you guys leave a comment on what you think. It's really noticeable on games on maps such as Subbase, so maybe wait for Subbase to come out and you can leave a judgment then, but yeah, uh, I, in my opinion, it looks a lot better. More colors. 
Uh, I know content wise on this channel it's kind of slowed down since summer started but uh, like I said a little bit earlier I just started an LSAT course I had uh, I had class every Monday and Wednesday for like four hours and working like 30 hours a week so uh, I can't I won't probably be getting a video up every single day but every I'm hoping I'm striving to have a video up every other day to for you guys to watch so and like I said I was playing Halo Reach so <laughs> yeah sorry it's been a while since the last uh, Call of Duty video but as I wall bang this guy oh wait this isn't a wall bang that was a uh, just a straight headshot but I think the next kill is another wall bang so yeah I'm telling you, hot knife through butter. <laughs> you gotta check this thing out. Or maybe it was the kill after that. Next couple lobbies, uh, videos I post up probably will still be from my open lobby that I held. I played a bunch of games I've never played before, like Headquarters. I never played Headquarters on Call of Duty 4. And it was alright on Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I may not do the border outline thing because my scores are kind of getting ridiculous. Like 50 and 12 and 74 and 20. And that, that just takes a lot of work to do all the video editing stuff, so I may just post a straight video with the new render settings, but I'll be sure to get them up so you can kind of look forward to that. And if you didn't get my message, for all future lobbies, I'll be posting them on Twitter. Uh, anytime, or anytime I just feel like jumping online and playing with you guys, or playing in general, I'll be leaving a message on Twitter, so check that out if you want to, if you want to play with me online. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier than posting a video every single time and then posting another video <laughs> saying that it's closed or something. So yeah, uh, Twitter will be the method of le me letting you guys know what my open lobbies are. And this TAR21, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I keep saying it, but <laughs> it's redonk. As I get a nice double right there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, sorry it's been a while since my last video, but been playing a bunch of other games here as well such as Bioshock so can't really blame me get the final kill, kill here but for some reason I don't get a kill cam I don't know why that happens sometimes refuse to grace your team with a kill cam final score 34 and 3 not too bad of a score thank you guys for watching please check out my channel and I will see you guys next time